Nope. Hey everyone. So, I don't really go on here too much, but my coworker suggested posting some stuff on here cuz people might be interested in my stories. So, I work at a small store. We really don't sell much. We're basically a gas station without the gas. I work with one other guy. Well, not really since he's got multiple personalities. The guy who recommended posting stuff is named Jason. And then there's Tom, Boris, Chet, and a really creepy one named Rapture, who thankfully doesn't show up much. It's mostly Jason, and I believe he was the original from what I can gather. Anyway, the two, or I guess six of us, are the only two employees here. The owner stops by every once in a while, but you won't see them much. Jason and I alternate day and night shifts, but on Thursdays and Fridays we're open 24 hours, so it's both of us those days. Sometimes we let each other sneak off into the back and take a nap. Don't tell my boss. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. My name is Lawrence. I was bitten by a werewolf a few years ago. Luckily, full moons only last one night. But there is one this Friday, so I have to mentally prepare for that. To my knowledge, I haven't killed anyone yet. It appears my werewolf form just kind of likes to mess around with people and eat the food here, forcing me to pay for it. Chet has offered to show me the security cameras for nights while I am a werewolf, but I declined. I'd rather not see that. Anyway, our store is kind of in a weird location. I've been told that there's a rip in time and space that we just happen to be located in, but whatever. Weird stuff happens here. Monsters come and go and I'm pretty sure there's a ghost, or two, or three. Jason and I were just kind of talking about it, when he told me some people might want to hear about some of the wacky shit that goes on. So, I figured I might as well, cause I, I gotta have something to do at work. Now that the introduction is out of the way, I'll tell you guys about a story, and maybe get to more later, I don't really know. So this was on a Monday. I had just finished restocking and was working at the counter. I couldn't help but check the clock every few minutes just so I could get out of there exactly at closing time. The time was 9.45. When I looked back from the clock, I saw a Komodo dragon just in the center of the store. We kind of just looked at each other before it slowly made its way to the counter. I got up from my seat and looked down at it. It was staring at the skittles that were in the display case of the counter. It moved its front leg up, gesturing to them. I grabbed a bag out and kind of set it down on the counter. I knew what it wanted. It was obvious but I didn't really know if I should do it. If I fed the thing, it wouldn't go away. It kind of started waddling around in circles with its mouth open. I shrugged and tore the bag open. When I did this, it started moving faster and spinning its tail around. I poured a few of the Skittles in my hand and dropped them on the floor. The lizard ate them up super fast, looked up at me, made a weird croaking sound, and then waddled out of the store. Since then, every Monday at 9.45pm, the Komodo dragon comes in, gets some skittles, and then leaves until the next week. I have appropriately named him Skittles. 
I don't want to give the false impression that it's just the one store that's messed up. It's this entire town. I just have a lot of stories about the store, it being my place of employment. Just so I have a story about the town itself, I'll tell you guys about the well. Towards the end of the town, there's an abandoned house with a well. The entire area around there has bluegrass. On one of my days off, I decided to pay the place a visit to see what it was all about. The house didn't have anything interesting aside from the TV playing Tombstone on loop. It was the well itself where everything interesting was. I went over there and heard a voice saying, destroy this well. I looked around for anyone else, but I was alone. I assumed the voice was coming from the well and looked down. It smelled like apples. There were two glowing green eyes at the bottom. I once again heard, destroy the well. Why? I asked. Don't you live down there? It's a prison, the voice replied. Let me out. Well, I assume you're down there for a reason, so unless there's something in it for me, I'm good. I can free you of your curse. Don't you wish to be free of the pain? Eh, I think I'm alright. I turned around and started to leave, and a weird shrieking came from the well. I didn't worry about it though. I assumed if the thing in there could do anything, then it would probably let itself out of the well. Okay. I've been typing for a while now. If you guys want to hear any more, please let me know. I'm sorry in advance for any disappointment. I assume that if you clicked a story called Diary of a Werewolf, you probably expected some werewolf stories. But who knows? After all, there's a full moon this Friday. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed part one of this story. If you did, you know what to do. Take that like button and just throw it in front of the Komodo dragon that happens to be standing right behind you. He's hungry after all. Shout out to the author of this story, who just goes by the alias, or I, I don't know if it's an alias, but they told me to call him Dominic and just Dominic. Dominic has a part two of this story, which I will be uploading this Thursday. So check back for that if you're interested. And that's all. Until next time, everybody, remember to stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you in the next video.